Disclaimer. This video is exclusively for entertainment purposes and is made to test my ability to cut a promo on anything and everything. I have no intent to offend or disrespect any of the subjects of my promos. Now sit back, relax and enjoy the video. What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling, your Kip Clips YouTube promo champion. And today I am bringing you episode two of Random Promos. This week's episode is a pretty serious one, actually. It's one that does grind my gears, this topic. This is submitted by Harris Groom, and it is anti-WWE fans slash UFC fans. You know, that's the general gist of it. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, 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 okay. I'm sure every single wrestling fan that is watching this video has come into contact with someone that has turned around and gone, why do you watch wrestling? Wrestling's fake. Shut up. Shut up. Now, basically, a lot of these people, from my personal experience, are MMA fans, are UFC fans, are fans of actual fighting. Now, before we get into this, I just want to say to all you people out there, I respect the UFC. I respect MMA. I take my hat off to anyone that runs into an octagon, into an actual proper sport, because... That stuff's serious. Like, oh my God, have you seen some of the injuries they get in the UFC? It's mental. But my also other word to you is, if wrestling's so fake, how come we can take a guy like Brock Lesnar, who's the face of a company like WWE, goes into the UFC, whips all of your favourite fighters' asses, and becomes the UFC heavyweight champion? If wrestling's so fake, how come someone could do that? Now, we've all had our experiences with those people, and they normally, we shut them down, we shut them up, and they normally just reply, well, it's different UFC's real, WWE's fake, it's scripted, the blood, you know, you, you see the blood, yeah, that's just ketchup, it's like, oh my god, I'm gonna kick you in the face, like, try me, I can't stand it, I can't stand it, and you people, if you ever, if you ever dare to try and come up to someone like me and say wrestling's fake, I'm gonna punch you in the face, so, UFC fans, let's be real here, the majority of UFC fans also think they are UFC fighters. They also think they know the ins and outs of the sport. They also think that they can do exactly what Conor McGregor can do. And my word to you is, you are wrong. See us wrestling fans, yes, a lot of us have wrestling channels. Yes, they say don't try this at home, but... At the end of the day, in my personal experience, this is what I want to do for a living. This is what I want to do for a job. This is what I want to do for the rest of my life. So, I will not take disrespect from you MMA fans coming up to me and telling me that what I love, what I want to do, what I can put my life on the line every single night doing professionally is fake. The reality of the situation is you do not have a damn clue what you're talking about. There is no comparison between WWE and UFC, in my opinion. UFC fighters train hard every single day for one, two, three, four fights a year. Four fights a year, probably at most. You don't see them fight that often, and that's because it takes them a long time to recover from the injuries they sustain in the fight. They train a long time. But you're telling me, you're telling me that WWE superstars, for example, can have a match, get on a plane, go to the hotel, have a match, get on a plane, go to the hotel, have a match, get on a plane, go to the hotel, have a match, get on a plane, go to the hotel, every single night without recovery, they do it. And you're telling me that you don't have respect for us. You're telling me they don't have respect for guys like Seth Rollins, guys like Roman Reigns, guys like John Cena. Hell, anyone on that WWE roster has earned my 100% respect just by being there. The grind is real. The grind doesn't stop. You know, a lot of indie wrestlers, they live in their cars. They survive on bread and apples. And you're trying to tell me that these UFC fighters have it hard? Really? Have you seen some of their houses? Have you seen the houses they get to live in every single day? Wrestlers buy big houses. They buy nice houses. They spend maybe 20 days in them a year. There's no comparison. Yes, the UFC is tough. I am not disputing that, but so is professional wrestling. So if you want to come at me and try and compare the two, you want to come at me and tell me what is fake, I don't have time for you people. You know what? I'm not even going to bother. I don't have time. Just shut up. Watch wrestling. 
Look at it. It's entertainment. It's not real fighting. They don't believe they're real fighters. It's an industry made of pretend tough guys. If you think you're a real tough guy in professional wrestling, you're going to get shut up real quick and know your role real quick. It's an industry built on respect. It is an industry that is built upon entertaining millions. You think UFC fighters are entertainers? They're not entertainers. They're not there to put on a show. They're not there to make sure you get your money's worth. They're there to knock out their opponent and beat them. I would not be happy. I would not be satisfied paying upwards of £20 to watch a fight at four in the morning for it to end in 20 seconds. But the UFC fighter, no, they're happy. They're happy. That's exactly what they wanted to do. They don't care about putting on a show. They're not there to put on a show. They're there to kick ass and take names. It's two completely different industries. But I dare you, please, tell me, tell me again that wrestlers can't take UFC fighters because there is a whole bunch of guys in that wrestling industry that I guarantee you are tougher than some UFC fighters. And if WWE is so bad and so fake, why do UFC fighters go there? Why did guys like Brock Lesnar come back? Why did guys like Cain Velasquez decide to join? Why did people like Ronda Rousey come to WWE and dominate if you think the WWE is so fake and belittled? I don't have time for you people. I've been your promo champion, Joe freaking Anthony. And I swear, you people... You small, small-minded people, you have no idea what the hell you are talking about. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was episode two of Random Promos. This one a bit more tense because, you know, obviously a lot of things are exaggerated. Everything in Random Promos is. It's it's not a shoot. It's, you know, I'm, I'm playing my character here. Um, but at the same time, a lot of the stuff I said is real problems. I mean, a lot of people that are UFC fans don't see the appeal in WWE, but they also aren't willing to give it a try. And if you are one of them people, all I can say to you is please just, just give it a try. Don't look at it as a fighting com combat sport. You've got to look at it as entertainment. Just take it in and enjoy it. If you open your mind, there's something you'll like for everyone. There's a category, there's a style of wrestling that everyone will enjoy. I am pretty certain on that. But anyways, I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Let me know what you think of my promo. Uh, let me know if I was too tense. Let me know, you know, whatever. And also, most importantly, let me know any more random promos you want me to cut. And I will see you in the next video. Please be sure to give this video a like, comment and subscribe. Goodbye.